what else to say about what's happening, except I am just completely mad right now. What's going on? What is up, everybody? My name is Alpacino, and I would have made a video about me playing Black Ops 6, showing you gameplay of it, but one, the bit rate, actually, no, the encoder was messed up, so the game is all stuttery and laggy, and I might have some videos for this, or some clips. Oh, yeah, so that's what's, that's what's going on. So as you can see here, And also before this, I made another video that was actually an hour and a half long when I was playing Cold War Zombies, ranting about the whole situation and going through the Easter egg. But apparently the size and the resolution for the recording itself was all messed up. It was 1920 by 1080, so everything looks squished. I have my stuff set, set a certain way so you guys can get a full picture. So third attempt, which is this. And basically talking about Black Ops 6 beta and our personal experience for it. That's all it's gonna be. So let's go into this whole thing. I, I literally, I'm like leaning back and everything because I'm just, there's so much that's uh, just happened and I was just so mad the whole the whole weekend. I was so excited, like just man, you get off of work, looking forward like the whole week to get off work and play the beta with your friends, you know, stream it, record it, you know, just have a fun experience on it. But then what happens when you get on the game? Boom, you get hit with an issue. The game crashes, so you have to reset it. And they're like, oh, you gotta put, you gotta have the preloaded shaders in there. So you preload the shaders. And it says, hey, you need to restart your game. So you restart it, you get back in the game. It crashes, you re you get back into the game again, like four or five times, maybe six. And then after that, you get into a game, you play for like a little bit, but you got an overloaded encoder, which you don't know the reason why, but uh, apparently with other games that you record, and streamed and everything with the same exact settings that you have on OBS, it just doesn't cut it for this game. It just doesn't cut it. Don't know why. Even setting this settings, all the graphics settings to the lowest settings to where it looks like complete and utter dog water. It's, it's like lagging complete them all everything so on my PC. Your sorry ass is ready for combat. Let's see here. But here, see, like, all right, I'm off the, like, I'm not on the game, right? This is where I'm off, I'm off the window. Like, I literally move my mouse on my top monitor. But once I click into the game, watch, when I click into it, and it's lagging everything, like, it's, it has to be the game. Here, I'll even do this. Let me do, because I want to see. Here, I'll put this up here. Yeah, so what it is, I'm already, I'm looking at it right now. I wish I could show you guys. So no matter what, the graphic, I could put it at minimum, right? I'll put it at minimum. Confirm. I am at minimum everything. Minimum graphics and everything. This is how crap, like, the game is, is, is crap right now. Quality and everything. That's how it is. And I'm playing on Windows. Now, if I do this, I'm going to change one thing. My resolution, I'm going to put it at, I'm put it at 1920 by 1080, pretty much. I'm going to confirm this. I did that, and that's what happens. I literally cannot play at the, the the scale that I want to. That's the that's stupid. That is the dumbest thing ever. I mean, I look like I was wearing drunk goggles. That's how bad the resolution and everything look. And it was set at 50%. But once you move the slider from 50% to 100% to get the 1920 by 1080p, and that's not changing any texture settings or anything like that, game goes to shit. Everything's all stuttery and laggy. So it got to the point where I got pissed off and I just said, fuck this and shut the game off. Now, where I'm going with this is it's not just myself. Like, I thought it was only me. I tweeted about it and everything. And I just said, basically, this is my whole experience. So so this is pretty much what I summed up with my whole experience. I said first experience on Black Ops 6 was terrible. Check the PC requirements and I'm good. I have a 3080, which I do, with a Ryzen 9 3900X. Went into the game, encoder overload the whole time, even lowering the game graphic settings to the lows and changing my stream settings on OBS as well. Same result still got the same result so i thought it was oh maybe it was obs so what i did was i even downgraded my obs like five updates and then tried it again was still getting the same issue it was just stuff going on in call of duty and there's nothing i can do about it so hopefully they have two beta weekends the first one passed and now they're gonna have a second one that's upcoming like in a few days and hopefully it gets fixed i hope it does but let's go further into this remember i was talking about crashes packet bursts and things like that people were reporting it at first i saw it on deserto but i don't really look at deserto yes i 
I like this just so I can go back and show everybody because I saw this at work. So I wanted to like have this kind of like a bookmark and no, I don't use the bookmark. Fuck the bookmark. So I just liked it just to show you. So now I can take that off. But anyway, yeah, fans are calling it an absolutely mess on PC. Some people are saying it on, on consoles as well, but mainly it's on PC. So what I went to, I was like, maybe it's just Deserto that's reporting it. Nope. Game Rant did the same thing too. And this is what they said. It's criticized the beta for issues. And basically it's the same thing. People were talking about unexpected bans, packet losses, and people were talking about getting kicked from the game because the game would crash. It's just so many technical issues. And somehow this is on the beta. Like what I'm trying to figure out is the play testing that happens. And I'm, 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 I am a play tester. That's another thing. I am a play tester. I'm a play tester for EA. And we go through all this stuff all the time. We will play the hell out of the game. We would play with devs. We would play with anybody, staff, other play testers. We get everybody into a game and we test it out. See how servers work. How is it going to play on PC? How is it going to play on console? And if there are issues, it gets recorded. It gets documented and it gets sent to the devs. It gets sent to whoever so this can get addressed and get fixed. But we don't know what happened here. Like, I don't get it. What happened? Why were there so many crashes? Why were there so many issues with packet loss and packet bursts? That's what it was. And then they have the whole thing with like trying to keep my composure here, but they have, they have issues here with bands and I'm going to break them all down as much as I can from the experience I've had. First of all, technical issues. This has been a thing since Modern Warfare 2. Reason why is because I used to play DMZ like crazy. Everybody remembers DMZ, the looter shooter that was kind of like Tarkov, but Call of Duty style or Tarkov with Call of Duty stamped on it. Pretty much. I don't know. After a certain update, after like a few months, a certain update came out and people were getting packet bursts, constant packet bursts to the point where you disconnect from the game and it affected a lot of people where it made people quit the game. I was one of them. And the reason why was because in DMZ, if you were to play the game and you were to die or get disconnected, it counts as a death, a permanent death, which means AKA you lose everything. You lose all your loot that you brought in with you. You lose your kill streak. You lose everything. You lose your money as well. You, you just lost it all. And it didn't stop there. It went to Modern Warfare 3 with their zombie mode or Warzone zombies, whatever you want to call it. Same thing happened. You get packet bursts, you get kicked from the game, you lose all your stuff. And then you have to go and do the same stuff over and over and over again, especially if you were geared up to do tier three missions and contracts in Modern Warfare 3 zombies or Warzone zombies, wherever the hell you want to call it. This, this, this issue has been out for so long. And the thing is, I've had addressed it many times. I've sent in tickets, talked to support and talked about the issue. And they said this, it must be an internet issue on your end. You might want to check your provider. Oh, I gave in. I was like, you know what? I'll do it. I went to contact my provider. It had to be Spectrum. And I said, hey, I'm having issues. I'm getting packet bursts. It's like booting me out of games because it's saying connection lost the server. So we did tests. We did everything. I even upgraded my internet. I spent another 60, 70 fucking dollars to upgrade my internet. Now I'm paying like a hundred and some odd dollars for just internet, which is ridiculous. I don't even, I'm not even getting one gig. It goes up to a gig, but it's not one gig. But anyway, I digress. We ran tests and everything. And what happened? Signals were going through. I was hundred percent. They were hundred percent on the end. There were no issues. We did multiple speed tests. I mean, I'm talking about two hours worth of speed tests and like troubleshooting to get this. And it and everything was fine. So I want to go play my game again. Played DMZ, played Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I'm still getting packet bursts. I'm getting kicked out of the game. I contacted Call of Duty again. This is like the fourth, fifth time. Contacted them again and said, hey, I've had this issue. I spoke to this person. They told me, hey, you need to go check your internet provider. Talk to my internet provider. We changed everything out. We done multiple tests for like hours. Came back, issue was still happening. Is this possibility, a strong possibility is something with your servers. What is going on with your servers? Is there a way this can be a fix? I'm just addressing the issue because somebody else may not be as happy as I was or losing their shit, which deep down I was. Sent this lengthy email and everything. Got no response. Fast forward, coming to Black Ops 6. People are talk about packet bursts. I was playing the game. I was getting packet bursts. And people were like, hey, is anybody getting packet bursts? I'm like, yes, I've been having this issue since Modern Warfare 2 and the same shit happened. I contacted support, nothing happens. They just, it's like they just brush over it. Like if you see that this is an issue, like maybe they'll see something on this because there is articles now saying like, hey, there's issues with packet bursts and stuff. Like hopefully they see it like, oh, there's an issue with our servers. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. But it seems like they just don't want to do that. Now, the next thing I want to say, the crashes. There's been Reddit posts that somebody was talking about where they had to log in five times because every time when they logged in, the game would crash and kick them out. So they logged in, kicked them out, logged in, kicked them out. The fifth time they finally, they logged in, they're like one more time. Um, they logged in 
And what happened was they were able to get into a match. They were excited and everything. They got into a match. They played for about like two minutes and they got booted out because the game crashed. Uh, it hasn't happened to me. Actually, no, I take the back. It has. It has happened to me. That is the situation that happens with the crashes. And people have sent crash reports and everything. It's just not well. It's just it's not working. It's not working out for people. It's not poor optimization as well. I don't know what it is, how they think we have 40 90s, freaking Ryzen 9 7950 X3Ds, or Intel, was it, were we at 14 900 KS HKs, whatever you guys have? Do they think we have all this stuff? No. Do we got dual PCs? No. Some people just want to stream and play the game on a single PC. It shouldn't be that hard. Look, this is literally what I use. I'm using this right now to play my games, to record everything. To record everything this is what i'm using this is my pc 3080 and a ryzen 9 in it nothing insane but it shouldn't be so difficult it shouldn't be so hard just to have a game run and let us be able to create content or just have fun in the game fun creating content for the game this this has to be addressed it really does it really needs to be addressed because it's going to get to the point where if this state all right the reason why i say this is because this is the game that everybody has been waiting on zombies community everybody has been waiting on Treyarch game to come out for four Four years people had to deal with vanguard people had to deal with modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 and now they're like finally a tray art game and i was the same way a tray art game that means zombies is going to be good i'm a zombies person i love playing zombies i'm not a hardcore speed running zombies but i like playing the easter eggs and i like just the overall zombie experience and i'll get into that later on but the thing is it the game looks bad it, performing wise it is terrible and it needs to be addressed it needs to be fixed in some way somehow at least in the beta show somewhat improvement from what happened last time to this upcoming weekend if there are some somewhat improvements that makes the community feel better like okay they have seen some issues this has been addressed don't get me wrong there are some cool things that they did have with call of duty where they're like hey over the weekend we're gonna have some updates we're gonna rotate some maps in we're gonna put some new modes in that was cool unfortunately they didn't do snd which sucked but hey it's whatever now the next thing and this has been reported many times i don't know what is going on with the reporting system people will falsely getting banned falsely banned people are getting falsely banned and basically how it goes with call of duty is hey somebody's cheating you report them right you get enough reports it flags them and i think it's automated that the, that account gets banned there's a live stream there's probably a clip somewhere actually hold on let me see if i can find it all right so what we have here is a clip shotzi getting banned just playing the game just generally just playing the game having fun this is what happened You've been temporarily banned from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 servers. You got banned too, right? What? <laughs> Wait, oh, what I got a new, uh, this is him. This is him playing. This is him playing the beta. That was him playing the beta. And it doesn't stop there. Prim6 even got it too. Man has been banned. Like, why punish like people that have been playing Call of Duty for so long that they're so good? It's just because people are soft. People are literally soft. They just get shit on and they can't just be like, oh, damn, I got outplayed. I got shit on. They get mad. So then they just in spite, they just report and report and report. And it has become a huge issue that people are, are getting banned, falsely banned. And the thing is, it's an automated system. So it just automatically bans you. So then luckily for them, they probably have to do is just contact somebody at Call of Duty. And they're like, hey, I'm um, Shotzi, I'm um, um, Crim6. I was playing the game and I'm just getting falsely reported and I got banned. You guys can look through all my stuff and see that I was just playing the game regularly and then that was it it's just it's insane to see it's in, it's very insane to see people were talking about oh well they have ricochet the reason why i call ricochet the light switch is because it's not constantly working it only works when there's a certain amount of people that leave or complain about the game enough to where it's like oh this is not looking good let's go ahead and flip the switch and turn on ricochet and the reason why i say that is because you only see it every what six months maybe a year like six months maybe a year about players that are barely jumping off the building and getting their feet broken they're like actually knocked on the ground them shooting at players they're in the, like their aimbot breaks where they're like looking straight up or looking straight down and they can't move left or right or look up and down shooting at players and like legit players are going invisible and they have like and they're not taking any damage the list goes on and on and content creators are making videos on it showing it off and everything but then after that you know people think it goes away it magically goes away but then six months later or a year later another wave of cheaters come in and then the whole thing starts over again it happens again and then people complain and and 
make tweets and videos and everything like that people start to leave like it, it's a, it's like a never-ending cycle it's a never-ending cycle and don't get me wrong i'm not blaming the devs i'm not blaming yeah i'm, just, I'm not blaming the devs i know it's the higher ups because they're just all about just sitting there laughing on their yachts or in their private jets just counting the money because they're making money off of these skins and stuff that they have or all, all these collaborations with these skins and stuff they're just making money off of that and they don't care and then it's gonna happen with the next game and then the next game and the next game and it, it just repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats it's gonna get to a point where people are just gonna be like fuck this game just gonna say now people are gonna be like fuck this game it's the same shit over and over and over fuck this game i'm leaving and then player base is just gonna drop even more and more and more even if you have like another new call of duty that comes out it's still gonna be the same thing modern warfare 3 actually let me back up modern warfare 2 was supposed to be out for two years before modern warfare 3 was supposed to come out but modern warfare 2 was so bad it was their baby for for warzone and everything it was so bad that they had to make modern warfare 3 which was basically the dlc for modern warfare 2 that's pretty much what it was it's literally the dlc for modern warfare 2. it made everything better and everything is like why not just use modern warfare 2 go back and fix things here's a good one here's a good like a game that i will show you guys that yes they lost a good amount of player base but they they are slowly coming back so battlefield battlefield 2042 this game came out 47,000 people all right and it went down it went down they took a plunge they took a huge plunge down here and it was because there were so many bugs like the levels just didn't feel right it was just it was just super bad it was just horrible it just didn't do well people were just getting sick and tired of the game uh they did the whole hero thing and with the whole hero operators and stuff people didn't like that because it wasn't just the, the basic like classes where it's like your recon your assault and so no they had to add in characters that have a visor that can literally like see through walls it's literally wall hacking right but they found out like hey people are only focusing on certain people and stuff like that so they start to fix it yeah it's somewhat still there but it's not like in people's faces it's not in your face like you can still find ways to get around it levels looked bad they started redoing they start revamping parts of their maps and it was cool like nobody really knew about it but then like it started to add on and people were like oh wow okay they're starting to make some changes and that's why it started building back up at this point Point with 107,000, I think this is when the game was free at the time, or like prices dropped a lot and people were playing the game or wanting to play the game. I can't remember, but at this point, obviously, you can see it was a very high point. And then it goes back down to 20,000. It went up a little bit. That's probably because like some events that happened and then went back to pretty much where it is now. So, all time peak was that 107,000. And then pretty much the lowest right now is 4.7. So, this game, it, yes, it, took it has taken a plunge as you can see by the numbers down here it has taken a huge plunge but at least they're somewhat coming back they found out there was an issue sadly it was too late but they found an issue and they were like hey there's a problem we need to address this they tried to address it unfortunately with battlefield it's a whole different monster it's a separate monster from call of duty because battlefield was like hey what the hell like everybody in the community including me were like what the hell is this we just started leaving stuff became unplayable on pc it was really bad like it was super gpu heavy like even on a 3080 like we you wouldn't get overload it wouldn't be an encoder overload it would literally crash obs even if you had the lowest recording settings or streaming settings you go on obs it would just completely shut down your obs and crash your obs or it would crash your game in your obs they they made a comeback even though it's been a few years they are slowly making some improvements now will that bring back the player base probably not but there is still retaining a little bit so i don't know what they're gonna think about with battlefield uh because i know a lot of people still play battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 and all the other previous battlefield titles because it just they like the simplicity of having just regular like just the regular classes i understand they wanted to do something different but it just didn't work out and they should have took it out like the first few months actually no not even the first few months like the first six months like have it in but then like after that obviously sees like it's not doing well on, on like on like on the data heat maps and everything that they use they could have just removed it but they didn't so so yeah going back to call of duty people are just getting flagged and everything um just the game looking just overall looking bad you can look at different things like here i'll show you this is 17 minutes of black ops zombies gameplay now i'm not gonna go through the i'm not gonna go through the, the whole thing you guys can actually watch this on, on twitter right here uh, black ops 6 intel but this is terminus this looks good and it's cool because they actually use they're using like the characters so you can do like the easter eggs and everything but also you can use your operators but i think that will disable the easter egg because there's like parts that you're gonna need to talk and everything like that but this is zombie look this is like zombie-esque 
and it looks good. It looks good, right? It looks amazing. It looks horrifying. Like this is something I know a lot of people are going to look at and then they're going to be like, yeah, this this looks insane. Now we're going to look at the, the other map that they have because they said they, they have two maps. They got two maps that are coming out. Liberty Falls is supposed to be like their, uh, I guess you say, yeah, I guess Liberty Falls looks like it, it's like your bonus, like how Black Ops 1 has uh, Kino, Dirtogun, and then also they have five as well. Um, if you put in a, it's like to get five, you had to put in like a password. You put in a certain password in the in the computer, which you can just look up, look it up on the internet. Um, or if you did like a pre-order, you got it. Things like that. All right. So this is Liberty. This is literally Liberty Falls. This is what it looks like. Doesn't really look zombie-esque, right? You have some buildings or some towers in the back that are on fire. This looks, eh, it just doesn't. It doesn't say zombies. It just looks like a multiplayer map. Like literally, it looks like a multiplayer map. And then they just added zombies to it. That's what it looks like. And a lot of people are like, yeah, dude, this, it just looks, it looks dumb. It just looks dumb. Like they, oh, they're like, hopefully they add more to it. And I hope they do too. I really hope that they do add more to it because it just looks like, it just, it looks terrible. And like being a level, like me getting into the, like studying level designing and like wanting to get into the industry as a level designer and everything. It's just like design wise, art wise, it just doesn't look appealing as a zombies map. It literally looks like, literally looks like rewind like here. It looks like rewind, but with zombies thrown in it, it looks like you wandered off the map. Like you were playing. It looked like this is what I thought of when I saw it. It looked like I was playing multiplayer and I was like getting into a fight and everything and I was running. I had to go play it up or something or take cover. And I ended up going out of bounds off the map into Liberty Falls, right? I just ended up in there and then somehow it was randomly getting attacked by zombies. Like that's what it feels like. It there was like the sky didn't look different. Like it doesn't look it doesn't look appealing. Again, it doesn't look appealing. It's during the day. Now, what people are saying is and this is what I tried to say in the first video. And I know I'm going off on a tangent. I know, I know I'm going like way off in, in the tangent. But what people are saying is hopefully Liberty Falls goes into there's well, people are saying, hopefully it's just like, that was like their pre-build for, or like one of their like version one builds or whatever for, for COD next. And the reason why people are saying that is like, I understand because the Easter egg wasn't enabled and it looked like just not many assets were in there. Right. So people were thinking maybe they disabled stuff. Maybe they disabled the sky. Maybe they disabled like some of the environments. Maybe that's what they did. But looking at it, it's like, uh, it this looks what it looks normal. And then it's like they added a tint to it. It looked like a little tint that they added to it. It just doesn't, like I said, it doesn't look zombie -esque. It doesn't look appealing. So that's why I think with Liberty Falls, they might have to pull that map. If they make it come out to what it looked like in at COD Next, they may have to pull that map, redesign it, and then throw it back in, which is fine because everybody's going to be playing Terminus. Like if you're playing zombies, everybody's going to be running and playing Terminus because Terminus just looks way better. It looks larger. Now, I don't know if in Liberty Falls and Mr. Waffle Waffles talks about it so me like about it he goes more in depth with it uh because he is one of the zombie experts in this or analysts whatever you would like to say but the man got some stuff like the man knows knows his stuff but who knows maybe you know there's like an underground lab or something that you go into where there's more to the game than you see who knows but hopefully it's not just the basis of of you know like what we're seeing is what we're gonna get I hope it's not like that so I will say this in closing, <sighs> Call of Duty, Activision, Treyarch, you guys need to fix this. Listen to your community, listen to the zombies community, listen to your Warzone community, listen to your multiplayer community. I understand Warzone is like, it, for, it's just for Activision. Warzone is your baby, I understand. That's where a lot of people are playing the game and things like that, but you also gotta take into account people that still play multiplayer and people that play zombies. Like if you're going to have these different modes, you got to divvy it out. You got to show support to all of them. You can't just have them out there, show support like the first six months and then just immediately just go just in like in everybody just put all the resources and stuff into Warzone because I know they made changes in previous games to Warzone and it has caused issues in multiplayer. It caused issues in zombies or DMZ or whatever. And it just doesn't feel fun for anybody else. Warzone players, I understand you guys love your 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 section of the game but the thing is like if it's going to keep going this route literally it's only going to be the warzone players that are going to be playing call of duty in the end minus cdl because this is literally the career who knows but that's it that's all i got obviously my lights went off so i mean it's closing time that means i need to get my ass in bed because it's two in the morning and i got work tomorrow so 
yeah, this video, hopefully I can get it up by uh, Sunday. Also, we do have a Sunday side quest right now. So if you guys do want to see, or not Sunday side quest, but we do have the uh, votes up ready on uh, Sunday side quest. Right now, these are the games that are going to be possibly played on Sunday. Uh, Sunday side quest, we play old school games uh, or we just go back in time with titles and everything. And then what we do is uh, we play that on stream. Usually we try to go through the whole, we do like a whole playthrough session. But with asterisk, we have the ones that need to be divided up like mercenaries. Mercenaries takes quite some time. It's fun, but it takes quite some time. Fusion Frenzy, everybody loves that game and been talking about it. So that was going to be a good one. 99 nights it's like dynasty warriors which is awesome and then also we have burnout revenge so those two are tied right now with 42.9 percent but you can make the difference of this by just simply just going to twitter and you just vote you don't even have to follow me you could just go in here and just go ahead and just click a game and you'll be fine but yeah we will do that every sunday for sun uh for sunday side quests we'll have, have a list of games up there and everybody will vote and then after that you know we'll play it we'll stream it and then uh carry on to the next game that's it that's all we do and it's just repeating cycle. last week we did army of two devil's cartel so if you guys do want to check out the vod you guys totally can it's in my live and yeah that is it i'll see you guys next time all right top channel peace